Alright, what's going on my people in the world? This is your boy Hood, man. Welcome to the Hood Films channel. Yo, I've been making videos all morning for you. You can see me in the studio. You see the green light behind me. I got my, my Red Bull. I got my water bottle. And I've been going crazy. And you know, I got my little, my little blunt that I light up. And I got my book, How to Make a Hood Movie. Go get it. It's at Amazon.com. So my books I made for you today, my stuff I did for you today, I got a show about that movie, uh, The Little Things by um, Denzel Washington. It's on HBO Max. I'll give y'all a breakdown about that movie because I don't know if y'all checked it out or if you want to see it, but you might enjoy that movie. I'll uh, give you also a, a breakdown about, uh, uh, you see, I can put the, my whole self in front of the green screen. Yeah, let's do it like that because I might... I might want to flip. No, no, this is going directly up there, so. But, yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, I give you a breakdown on that. I also give you a breakdown on, um, um, what else? How I got my product on Amazon.com. As far as having my stuff in a store, I talked to you also about Robinhood app and how they play people and uh, things of that nature. And so... I just want to keep y'all going in and knowing about what's happening over here at the brand, what we do over here at Hood Films, how we grinding, how we creating stuff, and what's going on. Yeah, I think, okay, so they still got it locked on uh, uh, Amazon. I was just seeing if I could uh, buy another share. Do they let you buy? Yeah, they do let you buy. Cause they say AMC is still going up, y'all. I was just letting y'all know that, if you care. But uh, <laughs> So anyway, uh, that being said, so we just grinding away at it, trying to do our best to build the brand up to a, a trillion dollar brand. And so uh, I'm just uh, continuing to grow. And I just wanted to show, tell, let y'all know about the stuff I already got shot. I'm going to be putting it up there in a minute so y'all can see it and be like, oh, snap, hood, that's dope. I like it. And y'all can like it. And I want to thank y'all for helping growing and getting the channel to grow. Y'all been helping this channel grow, and I appreciate y'all on that. And, uh, you know, just, man, it's like without y'all, the brand just does not work. It just uh, it just don't work without y'all. We I need y'all. So thank y'all for uh, checking us out and being a part of this journey to build this channel. I started this channel like 10 years ago and it was hard to keep it going because I was so focused on other stuff. I never really came over here and just gave it my 100%. And I'm not changing. I'm just going to lock in. So I'm back and I'm doing that now. And I got a few other uh, channels too. I got a stock channel. I got a, uh, a TV channel for Hood Films. I got my own Use of Hood channel. I got a bunch of other stores, uh, other channels that I have for that I uh, created businesses for. So as I build this channel, I'm going to start telling you guys about more about my other channels. And then you tell me about your channels. And we all just know about each other's channel and try to rock with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because we all came from the same thing. I grew up on the south side of Chicago, rough side of Chicago. I, I hustled my way through life literally on the streets. And I went and got my education in them, in them, in them little colleges, got that master of fine arts in filmmaking. And I just dedicated my life to filmmaking. I knew that one day it could save my life. I felt like it could. And I wasn't going to stop till it did. So, you know, the brand is Hood Films. You can check us out on Amazon. We got new products at Walmart. And I kind of tell you about how I got my stuff on Walmart.com and how I got my stuff on Amazon. So you can see that video is coming. It's right. It'll be up soon. So let me see. Uh, oh, I talk about that Ti nigga, man. How he got himself into trouble that he got himself into, and you all know he is some shit. So uh, it's crazy. Him and his relationship with his lady, and you know, the first thing was in a divorce stage. I remember my lady was telling me about that, and then now it's this whole sexual scandal that they got going and you know how shit be happening and you wish it didn't happen I think that's what's going on in his life right now like damn shit happened and I just wish it didn't happen so with this me and my little studio kicking it talking to y'all taking a puff the dope part about it is when I shoot my videos, 
I get to look at it through my through my watch. See if you can see that it says open camera. And as I'm filming, instead of having to be behind the camera, I get to look at it on the watch. And that's a technique that I can show y'all on here, which is really simple. Basically, the iPhone and the iPhone watch go together, and then you can make them work to produce products, if, especially if you got a tripod or something like that to set your iPhone on. You'd be good. But we building this channel up, and I'm grateful for y'all because my new movie, I got a movie I want to do. It's called it like a container movie where everything happens in one location, and it's like one or two actors. And this is the season where I always wanted to do a movie like that. And I kind of got a good story so far. I'm still working on the details of the story, but I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, so I'm trying to get that one going and kick that one all the way off. Right now, again, I'm still trying to detail every last little crevice of the movie so that when y'all see it, you can kind of still be entertained no matter what part of the movie you're watching. So you should go on my channel right now and go watch my new movie called Killer Rapper. It's free. You can watch it. You're going to love it. It's dope. It's independent. Ain't nobody else put no money on this but me. I made it myself, just like every product I've ever made. I always put my own money up, and I always benefit from doing that because it keeps me self-made, and it keeps me from having to follow so anybody rules. And that's critical to me because, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing that. And that's why I applaud people with nine to five jobs or especially long term nine to five jobs, because you have to be strong to be able to do that and deal with somebody's personality and, and how they get down if they like you this day or that day. And so that's a good thing to be about if that's who you are. So, you know, I'm just grateful that God blessed me to be who I am and got me to the point where I got to because a lot of times I felt like an out, outsider because that wasn't my reality. You know, but the internet and consistently producing and having enough product today that I shot in the past that's enough to even show people you know, on the entertainment side, people like, oh, okay, yeah, this guy is doing his thing. And I was, you know what I'm saying? I got on YouTube so that long ago, it, uh, man, I, I was like one of the first people on YouTube. I got on YouTube and closed my account down because I just didn't understand what it was. And I had to hit them back years later and ask them for the name because it's my brand back. I mean, they was like, you, you removed it. I said, I know, but I need that back. And they was like, you can go get it. They told me, I can go get that shit again. Uh, that by this time, YouTube had been bought out by Google. So I, it was a different kind of thing at that point. When I was on there, it had just kicked off because I was doing a documentary on bioterrorism for the city of Chicago, which is like filming doctors and nurses talk about science and all that shit. And so when I left that job, which is like a two-year contract, when I left it, I was back online. It's 2005, 2006, and that's when I ran across YouTube. And so I just signed up for it and shit. I didn't even think nothing of it. But now you look back today, it's a fucking powerhouse. And it's like, I always think to myself, what if you would have been making videos since then to now? But I didn't. But I still have this page, even my channel that we're on right now. I got it back. It's been 10 years ago that this happened. That was 2011. And I, and I probably got a bit back before it end, but by the time I joined back on and started locking the page down, it was 2011. So I'm like, damn, it's a long ass time ago, but, and I didn't even post. I, if you look at my videos, I, I got videos probably from like 2015, when I first started posting again, 2015, something like that. And, you know, I once in a while put my auntie and them up there, family page, I didn't really be, I, I didn't understand the seriousness of telling your story and talking on this platform and talking to the world and having a close relationship with the people through the comments and doing videos that people want to see and talking about subjects that people care about and even, you know, putting up your serious projects on here, documentaries, short documentaries, even my movie Killer Rapper, I could have put that movie on Amazon or any of those other places, but I felt like it would get lost in those places because there's so much happening on those places, even YouTube, but I felt like having it here, not only does it show you that my work as a filmmaker, but it also shows you the, uh, the people will be able to see and access the project without having to have a membership, without having to have some kind of thing ahead of it. So it's like a more open to the public kind of thing, and I wanted, I wanted that because my earlier films, they were bootleg them. So, and that was a blessing. That was, first it hurt, obviously, because you're not making the money, but overall, it was a good thing because it was me going viral before the computers even came around. And so people was watching my stuff and seeing me around the cities and sitting and be like, hey, hood, what's up, hood? 
And I mean, that's the kind of stuff that make you want to keep doing it. So to have my films out there to the people now and getting a thousand views on it already, it's like, that's what I'm talking about. It's still, because again, when more when I build more money up, these movies are going to look way more better than what they do now. But what they are is done. They're proof of concepts. They're finished products. They're something that I created. And I want to continue to do that and continue to let people be like uh, experiencing the product we got. You know, that's why I wrote the book, because I said, you need to be knowing about how to make your own hood movie. You need to be knowing about how to create your own stories. That's why it says, tell, us, tell your story at the back because you need to be saying this yourself. And then you can see here is me when I actually got my uh, last movie done. And this book has been updated. This is a prototype, everybody. This is the prototype of my book. This is not the finished copy, but this is how it's gonna overall look. I just wanted you to see that uh, a general sense of the book. You know what I'm saying? But you see it's a finished copy. You can see it. It's fire. You're gonna enjoy this book, man. So thank y'all for watching this video right here and kicking it with your boy, Yousef Hood. I'm grateful for y'all kicking it, Hood Films. I'm the CEO. I started this thing. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video. Let's get, us, let's get each other out there as far as we can. Help me get bigger as a brand. And uh, I already committed myself to filmmaking. I already committed myself to entertaining y'all and doing this for the rest of my life. I acted in this movie, Killer Rapper. Go watch my new movie. It's Killer Rapper. It's on this channel. Check it out. Enjoy it. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna be. You're gonna feel like, yeah, man. I like that, man. Kick it with me. We got more to come. More products to come. I'm talking to you directly because I don't want to have no interruptions and no interventions in between us. I want us to have our own rapport. You can talk to me right in the comments. And if you ever commented before, you know for a fact that I hit back in the comments, and it's directly me. And that's why I gave you my movie for the free because I wanted you to know that I care about my audience members and my subscribers as much as I care about myself. We rock with each other. It is no fakeness, it's no in between us or nothing like that. My direct connect to you is your direct connect right back to me. So that being said, y'all have a great day. We all trying to make it in this world. So we all doing the same thing. After all, we all doing the same thing. All right, holla at y'all soon and check out the new videos that be coming up soon.